Winnersburg family, this is Mike, and welcome to this week's Wednesday prayer meeting. This week we are coming to you from the Bolsa Chica Ecological Reserve in Huntington Beach, and it's a place that I've um, passed a whole bunch of times um, traveling north on PCH, and I'm so glad that I finally made it here. It's just an amazing place, um, so peaceful and so scenic, and um, some interesting uh, facts about this place is that it's a 1,300 acre coastal estuary and the habitats here include open water, mud flats, salt marsh, freshwater marsh, coastal dunes, and seabird, seabird resting islands. Uh, there are more than 200 species of birds here and the reserve is very popular for birders and photographers. So in just a moment we will be showing you one portion of this reserve. It's, it's, it's massive. Um, and uh, before we do, I just, today is uh, October 18, and it was our first um, indoor, in per, out, outdoor, in-person service um, at uh, Sanctuary in the courtyard, and uh, it, it, it was a real blessing just to be able to see everybody uh, for the first time uh, in many, many months, and to be able to worship and fellowship together. Um, it was just a great experience, and so uh, just want to encourage all all of you who feel uh, comfortable and led to uh, worship with uh, fellow believers um, to register. Make sure to register and get a spot. Um, there are only about 85 seats available after um, all the the volunteers and helpers. So um, seating is limited, so it is on a first come first serve basis. So just uh, make sure to get a, a reserve seat. Uh, you can get it through uh, the email that Alex um, should have already sent to you, and you can just register online. Um, today, uh, I just wanted to focus um, on our scripture and meditation time about the importance of solitude with God, that for us to grow deeper in our intimacy with God, it's so important for us to have that one-on-one -on -one secret place time with God. And if you can imagine getting to know uh, a person, maybe your spouse or a significant other, um, and having to um, get to know them in a large group, you know, I mean, um, it'd be, you might at the best get to uh, kind of, you know, just the surface part of them, but you can't even get to really know what, what are their interests and um, what makes them laugh and you know, what um, their character is like. And the same goes with our relationship with God. You know, it, we have to spend that one-on-one -on -one time with God to really get to know His character, get to identify and his voice and, and to know his ways and so um, for me um, the most effective way um, to get to know God has been through journaling and uh, it's through journaling that God has revealed songs to me he's, he's uh, revealed his love he's, re he's um, just answered prayers and, I, and it's just um, uh, for me it's just been the most effective way to know God on a deeper level and the best thing about journaling is um, it's recorded you know so you can go back uh, through the years and see all the different prayers that have been answered by God and so um, I really encourage you to try journaling it's as simple as just getting a notebook um, just using your laptop or computer whatever it is whatever means you want to use but um, uh, it, it will bless you and uh, uh, so just want to share that in today's scripture meditation passage I'll be reading from Matthew 6 verse 6 and it reads 
Well, I pray that time of meditation minister to you and uh, just um, drew you closer to the Lord. Uh, this week, it's such a blessing to be able to introduce Emily, welcome her, welcoming her back uh, to this program, and uh, that she'll be sharing um, a song that really helps us to and reminds us to keep our focus away from just the cares and uh, concerns of this world and uh, on to uh, just God's presence and love for us. So I know that that will minister to you and also it's uh, a blessing to introduce for the first time Kenny Wakamoto to our program. His, um, uh, he'll be sh uh, giving a family update about how his family has been doing during this pandemic and he'll be leading us in prayer today. So I pray that you'll have a blessed week and stay close to the Lord. Hi, Winnersburg. Happy Wednesday. Today, I wanted to share a song with you guys, and it's called In Your Eyes by Hillsong Young and Free. Um, this song has really been speaking to me lately, I think just because I have been kind of stressed with work and school um, and a bunch of other things that are happening in the world, um, which I'm sure you guys can relate to. But um, yeah, it really just talks about getting lost in the goodness of God and um, taking the time to hear the music of the gospel and... Um, I hope that this song encourages you today to take some time and do that um, throughout your busy week. So um, if you know the song, um, go ahead and sing along at home. Skylines and crowded streets are calling my are craving my affection But there is a perfect voice Waiting above the noise Jesus, my only choice When all the lights are screaming Then I Good morning, Wintersburg family. This is Kenny Wakamoto. Before we get into our morning prayer, I just wanted to give you a, a bit of an update on our family. Uh, for those of you that don't know us, uh, my wife is Dana, and we have three children, Colson, Karis, and Caden. Uh, Colson is the oldest, and he actually just turned 20 last month. Uh, so for those of you that remember when he was a little baby, seeing him as an infant, and now it's been 20 years. So. Uh, it's quite amazing to see uh, how quickly that's come and what God has done in our lives and in his life. Um, anyway, so a quick update about him is he actually uh, moved out of the house uh, back in June. Um, 
he has been working at Chick-fil-A and uh, decided to take this year off of school and work there full-time. So he's working full-time there, 40 hours a week. And he'll go back to school next fall when hopefully they'll be back to in-person schooling as that's uh, a lot more suitable for the way he learns. So he'll take a gap year, uh, but he's doing well, growing in his responsibilities. And I think uh, being out of the house and having to fend for himself and uh, it's been good for him. And of course, he's paying for his own rent and food and things like that. So it's, uh, it's always good. <laughs> so uh, Karis, she's a senior in high school now. And her and Caden are actually um, both in high school and they're back at school today. Uh, we've been in in-person school for about three weeks now. So it's good um, to get them back out of the house and back into school. They go twice a week in a hybrid format and um, the, our school they have a lot of safety protocols in place so they're very cautious so hopefully uh, it takes a lot of the risk out of it and hopefully it's safe for them and I think uh, we're uh, we're hopeful and we're confident that they'll be okay and and God will watch over them and keep them safe and hopefully everyone will stay healthy and just get back to a little bit of normal life there. Uh, Karis also got a job. She's been working at uh, Raising Cane's, which is another chicken fast food place, since June. And so she's been working there, you know, two or three days a week um, now that school's back in. And so she's enjoying that, learning and growing from that, learning how to work with people and uh, enjoying her coworkers as well. And so that's been good for her. And of course, now she doesn't ask me for money anymore. So that's the, the, the best benefit, of course. But no, it's good for her. Uh, so we got uh, her working as well. Caden, he's a sophomore in high school now, um, back at school. Uh, he is not working, which is fine, um, but uh, just, just trying to you know, adapt. And uh, he's been taking pictures and uh, making some cards now, picture cards to sell, um, and just uh, playing games with friends and trying to maintain some sort of normalcy. But uh, things are going well with him. So uh, And then Dana's um, back to doing a little bit of her boutiques and uh, some of those are starting to meet up again and she's been working on her crafts. Uh, she's helping out with Wintersburg in-person service uh, coming up next week and we look forward to, meet doing, to seeing all of you again and being back in person to fellowship with everyone and worship together as a corporate body. So we're excited about that. She's been helping out with some of that volunteer coordination and uh, just helping manage the house of course and doing more cooking since we're all home eating all the time at home. Um, for me, i um, very fortunate that I'm still working and actually it's been, work's been pretty busy overall uh, during this uh, shelter-in-place time. So uh, as a family, we have a lot to be thankful for and to be very grateful to God for um, uh, just seeing us through all this, uh, adapting, um, keeping us healthy. Um, the quick update is too is my family's all been healthy. My uh, immediate family, my parents, uh, Dana's parents have all been healthy. No one's gotten sick at all, which is good. Um, we've had some closer calls. We've had some uh, people around us that have been uh, in contact with people that had COVID-19 and they've tested negative and everyone in our families have tested negative. So again, we're very thankful that no one's gotten sick, but we know um, yeah, that God is in control. And even if we were, something were to happen, uh, you know, we're we know that uh, he is faithful and uh, in control of all things. So uh, we trust in the Lord to see us through all this. So that's a quick update on our family. Um, I think that uh, we're adjusting well. Um, again, we have a lot to be grateful for. And I, I think uh, I've tried to focus on just what God has done for us and um, been grateful for, even though this is a weird time and it's easy to complain and you know, want to think, get to see things get back to normal. I think it's been uh, good just to focus on uh, the joy that God brings in our lives and uh, what we have and um, how he's been faithful to us, that no one's gotten sick, and uh, just be really grateful for what we do have instead of looking at what we don't have. And um, um, I think that God has helped us see through this and reduce some of our stress and, and other things of just being together all the time. Um, but we are enjoying things. Uh, uh, I've been walk, doing a lot of walking and bike riding and uh, playing more golf and so that's helped keep me in shape and just be out, outdoors as well to help me keep my sanity. So, um, so that's all been good. Um, anyways, let's, uh, let's go to Lord in Prayer. So, uh, Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you for this morning. Thank you for your continued grace in our lives, Lord. And um, 
By the way, know it's a weird time and it's uh, it's been rough for many and stressful and um, for some, Lord, who have uh, who have had to deal with lots of stress or deal with uh, sickness, maybe people uh, in their lives getting uh, COVID-19 or themselves or, or even losing loved ones, Lord, during this time. Uh, we just pray, Lord, that uh, you would continue to comfort uh, every one of those people um, be with all of us uh, we know Lord that you are sovereign and you are uh, faithful Lord you always keep your promises and we can always lean on you and know that you are in control uh, Lord as you are uh, all powerful Lord and you are all wise Lord and um, it, it's it's tough sometimes to see what's going to happen through all this and when it might end or uh, or what you know is there good coming out of this but Lord I know that you are sovereign and wise. And Lord, we, we can't even understand uh, what's going to come out of this, Lord. But uh, we know, Lord, that you do not change and that you are faithful. And we pray, Lord, that we continue to um, lean upon you, to continue to depend upon you. Uh, we thank you, Lord, for the hope that we have in Christ. And that uh, during this time of shelter in place and being at home, and um, that, uh, that the hope we have in you, Lord, uh, continues to see us through all that lord that we can know that you are our rock and our foundation lord and that uh even through stressful times lord that we can lean upon you and uh and know that again you are faithful um lord there are many things to lift up to you and we pray for um the families that are going through hard times whether it's losing jobs or 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 getting sick or losing loved ones or um, just having a hard time surviving, whether it's financially or just or emotionally, mentally, uh, even spiritually, Lord. It's, it's tough on everybody, and I just pray, Lord, that you would uh, be with each person, Lord, that they would look to you, that they would find hope in you, continue to find comfort in you, and again, can lean on your promises and your word to know that you are always there and that you will see us through all this, Lord. So be with those families. We pray for them and lift them up. Um, be with the, the kids that are all going back to school, um, our kids included, Lord. I know many are fearful of what could be uh, happening if they're back in person at school, but I just pray, Lord, that even there is some risk, we understand that, but I pray, Lord, that you will watch over and protect uh, the students, Lord, protect uh, the teachers, protect all that are working, Lord, to make it, make it happen, but um, we know that... Uh, there are dangers, and we just pray, Lord, that um, and know that you are in control. So we pray, Lord, that you would watch over them. And uh, um, we pray for our country, Lord. There's so much going on, uh, lots of division, lots of uh, tension and, and racial unrest and tension. And, um, Lord, we know that uh, there's an upcoming election that everyone is, um, is just really focused on and, and has on the front of their mind. Lord, we just pray for your guidance of our country our leaders, our president, um, all of our leadership, Lord. We pray that you would give them wisdom, that you would give them guidance, Lord, that they would lean upon you, um, know your laws and your word, and Lord, may we be guided by that, um, Lord, as we know that you are good and you are faithful. Uh, so, Lord, we pray for our country, though. We lift it up in this time. We pray that people would be, um, as rough as it is, Lord, we pray that people would find peace in you, Lord, that they would, um, that they would also just... A desire to be peaceful with one another, Lord, that we would look to love one another and consider others before ourselves instead of focusing on our thoughts and our politics and our opinions and um, and just getting into arguments with people. And I pray, Lord, that people would um, value love and relationships, Lord, over their own opinions and beliefs and uh, and politics. And uh, Lord, just pray again that that people would look to you, that you would just bring light into this country. And that people would just be able to uh, to see your goodness and, uh, again, give our country guidance, Lord, and our leadership and our government. Um, and we pray for our church most of all, Lord. Pray for Wintersburg. Uh, I look forward to the in-person service coming up uh, as we plan to meet. Uh, it would be so good to worship together again, Lord, um, for being apart and separated for so long. I just pray that you would uh, bring unity back to our congregation as we join back together. And for those that can't make it, Lord, may they just feel a part of the corporate fellowship and worship as well, Lord. Uh, thank you. Be with all of our church uh, session and leaders and all the decisions going on with all the trials and difficulties that have been going on. I pray, Lord, that you would give them guidance, Lord, that they would depend upon you and look for your wisdom and your 
your leading and guidance and your will for our church, Lord. Uh, may we continue just to hope on uh, in what you have for the future of Wintersburg. Um, may we continue to pray for our leadership, uh, and may we continue to just lift them up and know that uh, you will see them through these, these hard and stressful times as there's been a lot of uh, trials and difficulties and challenges going on, Lord. Uh, but we pray for Wintersburg. We pray that we would continue to be salt and light, that we would uh, find joy in you and our worshiping together that's coming up. And Lord, may we just... Uh, uh, continue to grow as a church, Lord, that will proclaim your name. Uh, so really, Lord, I just pray that you would bless Wintersburg, uh, bless all those that uh, um, are coming to the church this Sunday for in-person worship and those that will still worship virtually, Lord. Uh, pray for the health of every one of our members as well, and may they just find joy in you uh, and continue to worship you and um, give them guidance, Lord. Uh, we thank you, Lord. Uh, I'm going to close now before the the, the noises of this uh, neighborhood start to hit up, uh, but thank you, Lord, and uh, we uh, we just again thank you for your faithfulness to us. We pray this all in Jesus' name, Amen.